Yeah, it's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is April 12th, 2018, and we are rocking out to Kendrick Lamar, Nipsey Hussle, Dedication. Give a shout out to my man Jay Small for the song request. I know I'm about a month behind, <laughs> but I'm getting through them, people. This Kendrick Lamar and Nipsey is a fire track. Actually, the whole uh, Nipsey album was fire. Best album of the year so far to me. But thank you guys for joining. We are going to be uh, looking at the markets. I know you saw the pop in the markets today. Uh, Bitcoin popped about 10%. We'll go over why that happened. And we will be talking about a real estate deal out of New York pertaining to Bitcoin. It's, it's an interesting article. I, I don't I don't agree with the guy's um, strategy, but we'll go over that and we'll have a discussion about that. But first, let's take a look at the market cap. We're currently at $297 billion. We actually popped above $300 billion earlier. Bitcoin's dominance is at 43.4%. And again, like I said, it's a big pop in Bitcoin. I'll go over that in a second. 9.75% at the, at the moment, we're up in Bitcoin. What I like to see, though, over the last two, two days, man, EOS has been on a roar. It's been on a tear, man. I'm glad about that. That's uh, one of my bigger positions. And actually, when I got out of uh, um, Pillar, I moved some over to EOS. So I was talking to Truth Bliss last week about that, actually. So good to see that. I think Pillar is up, too. Um, but overall, markets are green. Let's take a look at the algo first, and then we'll get into my manual TA. I am still short on the algo um, we're down 4.17 percent currently that's the running PL um, and you know I was talking to a gentleman the other day he's gonna be signing up and he you know he told me I'm not gonna give you his initial investment that he's gonna trade allocate for trading the signal and what his uh, end goal was but I'll give you a scenario Let's say you have $5,000 and you want to see $20,000 in the next six or seven months. That those are, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade that aggressively with your accounts, especially with the, the algos, because you may have drawdowns in between the trades. So i'll be doing when i kick off the signal this weekend i will be doing an intro video to help everyone who's signing up to understand um, and set their expectations correctly and also set their trading um, volume or trading sizes correctly based on what they are um, allocating for trading the signal because you don't want to over um, be overzealous and try to over trade your account if you have Ten five thousand dollars you can't expect to have forty thousand thirty thousand dollars uh in six months from this <clears throat> unless you're willing to see and and can handle <clears throat> significant drawdowns so <clears throat> we'll go over all of that in the video i'll explain that but if you want to make more money <clears throat> you got to be willing to allocate more money to the to the trading platform uh so again we're still we still got the shorts on um but overall we're still doing well with all the trades let me see i'm just going to verify that really quickly yeah we still got two shorts on uh at the moment and there you have it for the algo now manual ta i told you guys actually let me do this I'm gonna have you guys watch this video that I did on April. Let me see here. I did this video on April 7th. This was actually the uh, the intro part of the interview I did with Fiat Antidote. Before that, before that interview started, I actually did a video TA. You know, I do my TA every day to update you guys on the markets. 
So check this out right here. You know, if we see a breakout, then it's going to be a strong breakout. Either way, to the downside or the upside, if we break out of this channel. So at this point, channels aren't perfect as far as the lines. But if we see a move below 6,400, then that's a, that would be a strong move downward. If we see a channel breakout to the upside above 75, you could say 7550, that would be that would be a, a, a strong bullish move to the upside. Probably a good thousand points easily in a, in a day. Um, so let's just kind of see what happens. All right, so on March or on April 7th, I said that we would possibly see a move of a thousand points or more in one day. Um, and that happened today. <laughs> that happened today. And uh, I'll go over why really quickly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the manual TA. So as you can see, one today we're up. Where, where do we start uh, the move? 6,900. And we got up to 7,900. 7900 8000 which is a thousand points spot on and the reason why I even said this this is one aspect of trading where it, it will take some time for you guys if you're if you're new to trading to, to just analyze price action and so what we have here I knew once we started to get into this channel Every time we bounced off of an area, went back up, bounced off, went back up, it built, it's almost like a rubber band. It, it, it builds up um, tension in, in a trade, whichever way it will break. And so once we started to bounce off of those channels, then I, I drew the flag here. We started to bounce off of that and bam, the tension broke and we shot to the upside with that. And uh, probably it's not only, and this is what you guys have to understand. It's not only a a lot of people buying here, and a guy Smokey in the web by chat room sent me this, but this is not all buying. These are actually uh, short covering as well. Okay, so short covering is also like buying, but those are people covering their shorts and also people buying so that's what why you see that exaggerated move up now from here though it's interesting because i was telling the guys in the web bar room i'm still not convinced just quite yet um that we are the trend has reversed this could be a bull trap and a bull trap is a nice move up in a bear market and that may be the case here we got to see a move above 8200 8265 I would say is where we need to see a move and a close above and and get back above the long term or long term uh, long trend long term trend line that I have drawn here that red line that you can see right there and as you can see it almost tried to touch that and, and there was some heavy shorting and selling going on at these levels right here um, that's probably why you see that huge wick and now we're kind of settling for right now now uh, I'm spending a lot of time on the TA but it's important for me to do this I do want to draw let me see if I can see the backside draw a backside of this area really quickly if we go ahead and draw a trend line here let's see if we can match this just about right there so as you can see I'll change the color on this um, let's make this uh, try to extend this out so as you can see here this is interesting because now if I drew just kind of a, a trend line and I could even go higher I could do one um, move this up a little bit I can do one here as well this is probably what will happen next. I'm going to try to zoom back in here. So what you'll see here, um, if we can stay above this line as we go back down, we're good. But if we break back below here, this now becomes resistance. So kind of look out for the rest of the day. 
where we trade. If we get back below 7,400 ish, you know, we may be taking the leg back down. But I will say that now this becomes support 7350 now is support so this dotted red line is now support so we do have a few uh nice areas of support uh that we've blown through so that should give us some more life in the market so we'll just keep an eye on that i know i was pretty long on that but i just wanted to kind of show you guys uh the technicals and all that good stuff so on to the actual article for today it says here hedge fund manager lists multi-million dollar townhouse in bitcoin for a 50 percent premium this is the part i don't understand how why would you why would you sell it at a 50 percent premium it should be a 50 percent i wouldn't say 50 percent maybe a 20 percent discount to if you paid in bitcoin but at any rate, let's read this article. The real estate industry is increasingly embracing Bitcoin as a form of payment. Most recently, hedge fund manager Claudio Zanet has put his Manhattan townhouse on the market for nearly 30 million in US dollars or 45 million in cryptocurrencies, according to a story in the Wall Street Journal. Zanet is hedging his bets, attaching a 40% premium for buying or paying in Bitcoin versus fiat to offset the volatility in the Bitcoin price. Uh, Zanet, who is th at the helm of a hedge fund that bears his name, is willing to take Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Ripple, he told Wall Street Journal. Hmm, I'm a true believer in these networks, but it's very volatile. They could go down 6% in two weeks. Zanette is used to placing bets on high-tech companies, according to his link LinkedIn profile. He also founded Zanette Cryptocurrency Group. He appears to have been investing in cryptos and blockchains since at least 2015. So, here's my issue with that. If he believes in cryptocurrencies, he would be giving a 40% discount, not a premium, right? um what do you guys think about that because if you if you think about it paying in bitcoin first of all will be less um should be less in in cost for him versus um handling this deal in fiat so I, i'm just not sure if that's the right attitude to have in regards to uh settling a a, a deal in bitcoin yeah bitcoin is is volatile but if you believe in bitcoin you know even if you got 40 let's say he did a 20 percent discount that would be eight million dollars less so that's 32 million dollars if you're getting 32 million dollars in bitcoin at today's prices you should be if you believe in the the you know the technology the the industry you should be glad to have 32 million dollars in bitcoin at these prices so um it's just interesting to see um i always use the example i buy my cigars my cubans i should say from a site that accepts bitcoin they've been accepting bitcoin for like four years or so uh they give me a pre they give me a discount for buying with cryptocurrencies one because they're not um they don't have that additional cost of visa mastercard american express those transaction fees of three and a half four percent they're passing that on to me but uh on top of that they want they want to incentivize people to pay with cryptocurrency so they that they can accumulate those coins um so they give me a seven percent discount for purchasing my boxes of of cigars with bitcoin or litecoin so this is to me this is the same scenario it should be the other way around what do you guys think about this i'll leave a link to the whole article so you can read it but i just thought it was uh i don't think anyone is going to pay a 50 percent premium in bitcoin they would pay a a 30 percent discount and pay in bitcoin but not the other way around it, it doesn't make any sense so again uh let me know your thoughts and uh jump over to cryptoblood.io um we will be starting the trading signal this weekend so you'll be able to sign up 
you can do three months six months or a year and of course there are deep discounts for six and and, and 12 month increments so that's pretty much it for today ladies and gents dedication you got to be dedicated it's your boy crypto blood yeah